Hi everyone, this is Gleb Bakhmadov and I want to show this cool project. It uses SVG to show times of a day. If I click on a button, let's say day, it transitions to whatever previous position was and slowly brings the sun, the clouds, the colors, all to sunset, for example. This is defined using CSS transitions and it's done very, very well. Okay, finished. How do you know when to click the next button? Because if you don't wait for the transition, right, it kind of looks junky. All right. Let's see our test. I have the times of a day right here. This match the buttons. And I can iterate through all the times. And for each time, I can find the button with that label and click on it. Now, this iterates very, very quickly. Or maybe not the button, maybe just the label. Okay, notice it just goes instantly. Obviously, that's not right. We can add a wait, and maybe if we wait for five seconds, everything will be fine. Okay, click on a day. I think my CSS transitions are five seconds. That's why I think this matches the transition before it clicks to the next. finishes at dusk. Okay, now can we speed it up somehow? Can we quickly go to, the, for example, the final state for CS transition? Well, sort of. And the way that I figure it out is that imagine you take a screenshot, right? So imagine I don't wait for the transition to happen and instead I get the element window class and then I take the screenshot and I give it you know the same you know label as the time and I overwrite it so it doesn't keep creating things. Look what happens. Notice that the screenshots are showing the final position, let's say the dusk and the day, right? If we look at the screenshots folder, okay so for example this is the day, right? This is the final state. If you look at the dusk, the final state looks like this after CSS animation finishes. And that's what we have in our screenshot. The same for the night. This is the final state. And this is what screenshot shows. So how does screenshot speed up through the transition? Because our test was very, very fast. Let's see the documentation for Sci screenshot. And I'm going to bring my browser and I'll go to Sci screenshot documentation and I'll search for CSS animation and I can see the setting that kind of looks like what we are interested in. Disable timers animation. And by default it's true. So this somehow skips the CSS animation duration when taking a screenshot. Okay, let's take this option, go to Cypress repo and let's search for this setting to see how it's implemented. We see the spec file, we see the screenshot, okay, we see iframe. So this is the code that runs during Cypress test run in the browser. So this looks like something we're interested in. Add CSS animation disabler. What is that? Okay, let's search for that function. Okay, this is what it finds. And unfortunately, this function is not exposed for Cypress static methods. But look what it does. It takes this special style and injects it to the body of application. And what it does, it takes every animation property and every transition property and says, no, there will be no duration anymore. And it marks it important to override whatever applications. So let's see what we have in our application styles. Look at this, like the night and the moon have a transition. And if our screenshot injects this piece of code that applies to every element, then it effectively disables all CSS animation. All right, all right, let's do the same thing. Let's select this snippet of CSS. Well, it's surrounded by style tags, so it's really HTML. Let's go to our spec. And once we visit the site, We'll say, get me the body element. And now we want to append, right, on that element. 
and we'll wrap this in jQuery using Cypress dollar sign, which is bundle in, right? And we'll copy paste what we got from the Cypress code to disable the transitions. And let's see what happens now. And I'm gonna remove taking a screenshot and I'm gonna wait for let's say one second just to show how it works. And now notice. All our transitions finish instantly. There is no more five seconds more CSS animation. It goes immediately to the target state because we effectively disabled it by using the code we found at the Cypress repository.